Hello, I'm Anna Barger, the OECD's Competition Division. I'm here today to provide an overview of some of the topics that will be discussed as part of an upcoming roundtable on consumer data rights and competition. This will be held on the 12th of June as part of the Competition Committee meetings. Consumer data rights are gaining more attention globally as more consumers come to use the multitude of products and services that are available in the digital economy. Data has never been so prevalent. It is estimated that the volume of data globally will grow from 33 zettabytes in 2018 to 175 zettabytes in 2025. To put this in perspective, one zettabyte is equal to 250 billion DVDs worth of data. Most OECD jurisdictions have had privacy and data protection legislation in place for many decades. However, in recent years, a number of countries have enacted new consumer data rights, with new rights for consumers and responsibilities for those businesses that use and collect consumer data. This has spurred discussion in competition circles about the role for competition policy and enforcement in promoting objectives such as privacy and informational self-determination. Relatedly, there has been a discussion about how to assess the impact of access to consumer data on market power and barriers to entry. In this respect, some have questioned whether the essential facilities doctrine could be called into use. The aim of the roundtable will be to discuss these issues. A background paper, which is now available online, unpacks some of these issues further. It provides background on what are consumer data and consumer data rights? How do businesses use consumer data? And what market failures may be associated with the use of consumer data? What is the role for competition policy in respect of consumer data and consumer data rights? And what potential impact can consumer data rights have on competition? And what is the role for cooperation between competition, data protection and consumer agencies? In advance of the meeting, I would just like to make a few observations. The first is that privacy as an element of quality on which businesses compete is gaining traction across the world. That said, there are few cases where a theory of harm purporting that there has been a degradation in the level of privacy have been made, whether it be in respect of mergers or a misuse of market power. While it is always difficult to pursue a theory of harm relating to quality, there are some peculiarities to privacy that make this especially difficult. These are that it is very hard to know how much consumers value privacy due to a lack of understanding and a lack of engagement with privacy notices. More often, competition agencies have considered whether access to consumer data can confer market power or, bar or raise barriers to entry. And in this respect, there have been a number of remedies put in place to ensure that competitors or businesses in adjacent markets can access the necessary consumer data. Another observation I'd like to make is the way that consumer data rights are formed and implemented has implications for competition. One, one way in which this really comes to the forefront is in respect of data portability, which is the right of a consumer to move their data from one supplier to another. And this is an area that is ripe for more cooperation between data protection authorities and competition authorities, because it is a policy that is intended to promote com competition, but if not implemented in the right way, may in fact impede it. More generally, there is a case for greater cooperation between data protection, competition and consumer policy agencies. This is twofold. First, to ensure that the objectives of one policy area are not undermined by the actions taken by other agencies. And secondly, to ensure that the appropriate enforcement tools are used according to the facts of the case. To provide greater background to the discussion, I recommend the videos provided by our panellists. First, we have Professor Wolfgang Kerber, who is a Professor of Economics 
at the University of Marburg. He's worked in competition economics for years, specialising recently on issues such as data and consumer data and the IoT. We will also hear from Elizabeth Denham, the UK Information Commissioner, who will provide a data protection perspective, having worked for over two decades in the field of privacy. Last, Alessandro Christie, who is a Professor of Information Technology and Public Policy at Heinz College, Carnegie Mellon University, will provide his insights, having worked extensively on the economics of privacy. In the roundtable itself, we will hear from our delegates about their experiences in this field. I look forward to joining you then for what promises to be an engaging and interesting discussion. See you then. Thank you.